What's up, guys? I'm Miles Mastercola. I'm a 21-year-old kid. I go to school at UNC Charlotte, and I've dedicated my life to helping kids get to the next level in North Carolina high school basketball. We got it going on, man. We got a lot of stuff planned for you. We're going to tell you guys about some people you know, some people you may not know, everything in between, and it's all on you to tell me what you guys want me to talk about. You, the viewer, are in total control of this show. So let's get it going. So we have a couple awesome players to talk to you about today, both of the last name Williams, no relation, but they both get buckets, and that's really all that matters. First up, we got Pat Williams, 6'8 senior at West Charlotte, signed to Florida State, a top 40 player in the country by consensus, and he's putting up numbers this year, averaging 21, 8, shooting 48% from the field, 46% from three. He led West Charlotte to a 2-1 record at the John Wall Holiday Invitational, and if you don't know what that is, you should probably not be watching this and go watch that recap because just, just trust me on that one. Uh, he's really doing a really good job, and he's ran with Team United on the EYBL, led them to a Final Four appearance in the EYBL. Not a lot of people really expected that, and he's arguably one of the most underrated players in the country when you look at the kind of physical, like the physical specimen that he is and the, the skill that he brings with that, you know, shooting 46% from three at 6'8", over 200 pounds. Uh, there's been a lot of debate exactly on his level, if he's a one-and-done kind of guy or the guy that's going to be in college for a few years. What do you think? After seeing the highlights that he's put up, which are absolutely ridiculous, leave in the comments where you think that Pat Williams is going to be two years from now. Is it in the NBA? Is it at Florida State? What's Pat Williams going to end up doing? That's for you to decide. And next up, we got Brock Williams. Some of you may know him. Some of you may not. He played this summer with Team Loaded 15U and absolutely dominated. He's also one of the best scorers in the country. He's averaging 34 points a game this year, three assists, three rebounds, four steals, and less than a turnover a game. To have those kind of numbers is as absolutely ridiculous as a sophomore. He's shooting 60%. Yes. 60% from the field at 5'11", which is just absolutely crazy. 35% from three. His head coach is my age, 21. Shout out to my guy Bernardi for getting the job done over at Burlington Christian. This A few weeks ago against Isaiah Todd and Trinity Academy of Raleigh, he finished with 44 points and 10 steals, earning the respect of Todd, getting a shout out from him on Instagram and even his mom for what that's worth. And lucky for y'all, you'll be able to check out Brock again really, really soon as one of the Game of the Week features we'll have coming up on this channel. So be sure to check back for that when he goes to Raleigh to rematch with uh, Trinity Academy of Raleigh and uh, Isaiah Todd. His recruitment is starting to pick up. He's got interest from Liberty, High Point, Elon, Clemson is the latest of the party. And he also just broke the 1,000-point barrier midway through his sophomore year, which is nothing to really joke about. The kid's a serious scorer. He's probably the only kid I've ever seen to trust taking like a 17-foot floater. I've never really seen anybody make that consistently. Brock is the only one to do it. He's a special player. He's a special person, and you guys need to watch him soon. And the highlight performance of the week is our guy, DJ Thomas. He's one of the best in the area. He's what kind of lit Raleigh aflame with the way that he attacks the basket and just kind of the flair that he plays with. He's like 5'6", plays above the rim at times, and in the rematch, the must-anticipated rematch between, uh, between Downey Christian and Broughton, he finished with 30 points, 6 assists, five rebounds, and he got the dub over Julian Newman and Downey Christian. So shout out to DJ Thomas. He had a game winner against Leesville the other night, and he's really, really starting to propel some momentum towards his recruitment as he's, the end of his senior year approaches. And that's a wrap for today's episode. Be sure to check back with us next week. If you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mastercola Miles, on Instagram at Miles Mastercola, or check out some of the work I do with Phenom Hoop Report. We have a podcast called Amateur Hour on iTunes, and I do a lot of writing on the website, so be sure to check that out. And if you want to hear some recruiting news, maybe about some players in North Carolina or some Carolina schools, leave it in the comments below. Like I said, you steer the ship, and we're taking this thing to the moon. We out.